Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you've seen some of the other videos on my channel, you'll know that I like to do a, a bike build or two here or there. Um, most of them have been retro rally bike builds. You'll have seen, hopefully, videos of uh, my Taurus uh, Titanium 26 inch mountain bike here. You might have seen my Dynatec 705 um, with Duro Ace 9000 carbon kit build down here, or also my XC80 rally hybrid into a gravel bike um, with Ultegra R800 hunt wheels, carbon bars, that sort of thing down here. So I, I like to do a bit of an unusual bike build. They all get used, they all get ridden. I don't just build them and hang them on the wall as they are now, they all get used. Um, but one thing I've not got at the moment is a triathlon bike. Um, before, before lockdown I did lots of triathlons, Ironman, that sort of thing. During lockdown, lost the love a little bit, as did many people. Sold my tri bike, um, thinking I'd not do triathlon again, but the world's moved, moved on a little bit. It's time to start getting back into triathlon. So I've been looking for a tri bike, um, deciding what to go for. I had a look at Giant Trinities, which I've had a couple of, of before and loved them to bits. I've had a Cube Arium Pro. Um, going back about 10 years or so. Felt B12 had one of those and, and loved that for a while, but looking for something new to, to build up um, this time around. I decided to do a bit of a dream triathlon bike build when I saw this little beauty pop up on Facebook Marketplace. So here you go. It's a Factor Slick in a very bling paint job. So we've got 51 speed shop bars as they come with from the factory. Um, rim brake model rather than disc brakes. I'm not worried about that. As long as the brakes are efficient, rim brakes are absolutely fine as we all know. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be the next bike build. I guess this is part one, showing you the bike, letting you know my plans for it. So there'll be a series of videos about the building of this bike. Um, I've got the frame, I've got the forks, I've got the handlebars, I've got a few other little bits put away from previous bikes or from planned builds. Um, I've got a crank set which came with this. I've got a rotor two in power, um, dual sided crank meter and pyramid uh, chain wheels, which is off having a new battery fitted. I've got a few bits and pieces, but obviously the first most important bit for this frame set is to get this paint off, is to get the paint off and get it resprayed. I won't say too much about this super glossy, sparkly champagne gold finish because someone somewhere probably loved it. But part of the attraction of this was seeing how, how good I can make it look. So yeah, that's gonna be coming off. I'm gonna be sending this off. I've had, I've had an old 1985 GT Performer World Tour, um, which I renovated and had sprayed before. So this is gonna go off to the same place. This is gonna go off to Mark Rayner um, Creations, MR Creations on Instagram and Facebook, I think. He's a top, top paint sprayer, airbrush paint work. Um, you know, airbrush lettering, that sort of thing. He's going to do a lovely job on this. I know it is. I'm already talking to him about colour schemes and, and what we're going to do with it. So first things first, I'm going to get it stripped down, get it sent off to him, get it resprayed. And whilst that's going on, I'll be getting a few bits and pieces together, ready to carry on with this build. But the plan for this bike is it's going to be a sub 10 Ironman bike. So it's got a few really good things going for it. Obviously, it's a very fast frame. Obviously, it's it built into a very, very fast bike used by pro teams. Um, all over the world so it's a fast fast bike but for Ironman it's got lots of lots of really important features so obviously it's got a top um, top tube mount for a gel bag food bag on the top here so I can put a, I can mount a bag on there it's got handlebar mount for bottle cage up here which I like I don't like the big fancy um, bottle cage mounts but it's got a, a handy little bottle cage mount there which is all I need um, obviously it's got a Garmin mount that's fine the bars look pretty good shape wise they look fine 